Alright, we're back, and we're in Sky Meadow, so we're still continuing our uh, engineer playthrough. Uh, I believe that I already got the artifact here, so we don't have to worry about, you know, going out of our way to, you know, do that. And here's the teleporter already. Damn, that was fast. I want that, uh, I want that tooth. I want that tooth. <laughs> that is what I want. I would like the tooth. So we're gonna just kind of jump up and down here and slash the living hell out of this magma worm. He has a lot of body segments, so it's easy to hit. And just kind of take him out. Oh, and drop the war banner. That's nice. Kind of go through the... Oh, wow. <laughs> I flew far. <laughs> I said, uh, one of the better uh, artifacts I like was, ooh, look at that! Just flying across the screen. Ugh. Like I said, the character is fun, it's just really hard to use, you know? Maybe eventually I'll get better with him, but for right now, I just feel comfortable just playing as a character on easy mode. And you would think that I have, like, you know, some experience by playing the uh, Maple Story, but. Alright, need to run away for a little while. Clearly, because I'm getting my butt kicked. Go through all the enemy like that. <laughs> you get some healing. I don't have any healing items. That's the problem right now. I have no healing items. So, the struggle is pretty real when you have no, absolutely no healing items. I mean, I want that tooth, but I'll get it in a second. Like that tooth will be great. Very helpful in me healing some HP. I pretty much heal uh, 10 HP per kill, so... You know, who doesn't want to heal 10 HP per kill? I'm gonna try to kill some of these enemies, kill the boss. Oh, he dropped a 64 leaf clover, which increases uh, the chance of elite mobs to drop some items. And what I mean by elite mobs, I mean the ones that are colored different. Like this, it's elite mob. Go through them real quick. Back it up. We've got ten more enemies to kill, and they're pretty much all right here. So, so back it up. Jump, shoot, and oh, I missed. I missed. I fucked that up. Back, jump. Go ahead and take these prison shackles. They're an okay item. Yeah, especially with spite. Like I don't, I don't mind slowing down some of these enemies because spite be. You know, I like running faster. But they run faster as well, so... Gotta be wary of that. Anyway, this stage was just super quick. <laughs> like, what, two minutes? Two, three minutes? So, we're still on easy difficulty, so I guess we can go ahead, walk around a little bit, collect some items. Yeah, we still got a nice chunk of money. We have smart shoppers, so... Like I said, the stage isn't that big, so... There's not a lot of items to find, but, you know, I'm going to go a little bit out of my way, especially since I have a smart shopper, to go ahead and collect some items. Yeah. Like I said, it's been a cool minute since I played as a miner. I generally try to avoid him because I just don't think he's that good, but, you know, he's fun to play with. I'm having, I'm having a ton of fun, you know, playing on easy mode. Uh, I'd probably be dead by now if I was on... I wouldn't say he's my least favorite character, you know, I hear a lot of people saying, Oh, man, the Miner's the worst character in the game. Like, eh, no, I wouldn't say that, you know. He has iframes, he has decent damage. I wouldn't say he's, you know, the worst character. Infusion, so good. And life savings. So, uh, right now, we are we're looking towards a fairly long run, because i got some good items, so... You know, look forward to maybe a couple parts, but this part's not done. This, this stage was only, like, what, three, four minutes? Like, no, that's too short. That's too short. I believe I already got that artifact as well, so... Don't have to worry about me getting that as well. Like I said, I just want to kind of go to the new stages and get the new artifacts. I just don't know where all the artifacts are. I know there's one per area. I know that, you know. So, I know that. I just don't know, you know, which stage has it, which stage doesn't. Where they are, exactly. 
I know there was one with handy and I tried to get it and I couldn't get it. I know it'll be much easier with the with the miner, so if I end up going to that magma barracks, I should be able to get it. I know I know the majority of artifacts that you get you get with the miner just because of his high jump ability because you know his extra shoot up in the air jump higher which will allow you to you know exploit and get some of the of the artifacts and uh he's a melee so you know some of them require you to use a range character while some of you most of them require you to use a melee character so clearly he's just a high jumping melee character so you know why wouldn't you use this character i'm just gonna kind of hop up and down up and down slashing the colossus with my mirror. Probably one of the best used items in the game as well. Pretty much creates a shadow. Pretty much double my damage. And Harvester Sight, so criticals heal me. Which is also fine. Alright, so the boss is done, so now we can kind of just start cleaning up. Taking out some of these enemies. Collecting items as we go along, of course. Uh, ukulele is a decent item, you know. I believe there's actually, uh, no, I was gonna say I believe there's an artifact over here, but clearly I just, there's no continuation of that, so. So like I said, we're, we're, we're looking, we're looking towards a pretty good, uh, pretty good run here, so. Probably multiple parts, I'd say maybe four, five, so. You know, I don't mind. You know, just continue to watch and support me in this series, and I don't mind. You know, doing this game. I have a ton of fun with this game. This game is really fun. Uh, you can pick it up on Steam. It's multiplayer. I just don't have anybody to play with me. Pause. Oh, dropped another war banner right on top of the same war banner. And wow, another quick finish. This elite hurts. I need to get a little bit closer, but not too close. He has a little bit of range around him, but... Not much, so... I gotta get close, but I don't have to get too close. Alright, there we go. We'll take out this crab dude as well. And there's, uh, what, one more enemy? And then we can go ahead and do a walk around, so... This was a fast stage. <laughs> yeah. Jump out of the way. Alright, so let's walk around a little bit. Collect some items, and we'll just move on. Oh, Acrid's here. Go ahead and kill Acrid, why not? Why not kill Acrid? That's more money and experience for me, so. I'm trying to get him, he's moving around too much. There we go, I kind of caught him. There we go. So, if you guys are wondering who Acrid is, Acrid is actually a playable character, and when you beat this boss, you actually unlock him. So, I already have Acrid unlocked, you'll be seeing an Acrid episode upcoming. He's actually, arguably, the most powerful character in the entire game, you know, there's, there's debate, so... Uh, when we get to that episode, I look forward to it, because, like I said, Acrid's really fun, he's really easy to use, like... Uh, if anybody would say, oh, I'm just getting into Risk of Rain, what character should I play as? I'd say Acrid, because he's just that good and he's just that easy. So, so we're going to just quickly walk around real fast. We got three goat hoofs, so we walk pretty fast. Plus, you know, Spite, we got injured a little bit, so. Or Spirit, or whatever. Sprite, Sprite. This is promotion. This this episode of Risk of Rain is brought to you by Sprite. It's not. They're, they're, they're not sponsoring me. <laughs> So we got uh, Toxic Centipede, so when enemies get near me, and of course they will because I'm a melee class, so it's a little bit more damage on my part, that's good. Go ahead and play this. Sticky Bombs, fine. Come on, give me one more. One more, come on. Give me something. Uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's clearly not what I wanted. Alright, well... This is actually a part as well. I mean, it's a little bit shorter of an episode, but it's a part. Oh, I could've got that drone. Oh, well. Instead of wasting my money on the gambling machine, but it's, oh, well. it's fine. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, this is a part. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next part with some more Risk of Rain. Thanks for watching.